a lot of our folks in services, like they come in and they're trying to balance treatment with either work or school. And oftentimes one will go by the wayside. The primary goal for IPS is to help somebody who wants to return to the world of employment get there and be successful, not just to get a job, but to maintain a job. Through IPS, we've been able to fill um, operators, machine operators, and administrative roles. So it's been successful for us in that regard. IPS has many core principles, but the ones that we really focus on, and the most important one is zero exclusion. This means that no matter where a person is in their treatment, no matter if they are actively using or they're not med compliant, as the, the term is, um, it doesn't matter. If they want to work, you send them over to us and we will help them explore that. We do more than just place people in jobs. We don't actually place people at all, even though it says individual placement and support. We actually work with the person and find where their skills are, find what they're good at, find what they want to do, and find the right job for them. Yeah. Well, I started with IPS, it was a few years ago now. I had been working and I wasn't really happy there. It was not really what I wanted to do when I had other sorts of experience. So CMH had hooked me up with IPS and I worked with a lady named Chris and she helped me introduce me to people and I ended up meeting Kevin and I ended up here and then I kind of moved up. I started an administrative role. Now I do like the plastics programs and stuff like that. I do a lot of that and that's how I got here. IPS came in when I was looking for a job and I was struggling with the temp services. So when I went to CMH, IPS, they referred me to IPS. IPS helped me with a job. I think I remember saying it before is they didn't just help me find a job. They helped me find a better job. We shift the thinking of, oh, he's OCD um, at MMP to he pays attention to detail, so he should be quality. He should be a quality, you know, um, staff member. Like he's, he's looking at the parts when they come out and he's assessing their quality based on, you know, his brain, the way he's wired is to look and see that all things on it are perfect. Your day-to-day -day activity is to meet the individuals and to meet them where they're at. So if they're at vocational profile, which is the very first thing we do, that's where we're, we're sitting down and creating a plan for their employment. Or if we're actively searching for employment, we're out in the field, in a car, going and dropping off applications, or follow along supports, which means you might see some of our staff sitting at Tim Hortons with somebody, and we're just talking about some of the struggles they've been having at work or what's going great at work or helping them report their wages to Social Security, which is another big piece of our, our pie. I've learned how to be diligent in my tasks. I've learned how to operate my machines. I've learned how to anticipate a dynamic and evolving environment. I've learned how to process my machines. I've learned how to evolve with the company to suit the company's needs as they need it. 50% of the people we served were working, which is the highest number I've ever seen. And of those 50%, 89% maintained their job throughout the quarter. That's really high statistics, especially in today's job market. There's a high benefit to working with IPS. A couple of items that come to mind, number one is the screening of the applicants that they have coming through this door, that they have weed through their people, understand what the people actually want, so they know, versus the average individual who walks into a temp service or another manufacturer says, I want a job. Well, at least when the relationship is built between the IPS staff and the employer, we tell them, this is what we're looking for. This is the expectation. We're not, we're not gonna, I guess, bait and switch. This is what you're gonna have then they can go to the individuals and through conversations one-on-one -on -one with the individual at the business, you could really identify if that person is serious about it. IPS model, it's, it's an evidence-based practice. When it was built, that was the key to this, was the actual like building the relationship after the person works. I feel like it's more in line with my education and what I've always wanted to do. I feel, you know, I can 
not feel like I'm stuck at the bottom anymore. Um, it's really uh, made me feel better about myself. I feel like I have a sense of purpose. I wake up in the morning. I like what I'm doing. I like that, you know, I got This is a perfect job for me. And they helped me find it, and I'll be forever grateful for that. It's really changed my life a lot. And if I ever do end up moving on, I've learned a lot of skills here. So they found a place where you can do that too, which is really great that they took everything I needed into consideration before just throwing me into a place. Like, here, go work at this place. They're like, no, this sounds like a good fit for you. IPS is about choice. And we are always going to respect a person's choice for employment. We're always going to pursue the job that they want to do. And we're, we're always going to try to support the team. I see we have a long-term relationship, whether it's mock interviews, direct or hiring of individuals, um, or providing leads on other opportunities. It was a job that helped you, or it helped you get money, helped you learn your job, helped you grow into the job, into the worker, not only that your employer needs, but that you need to be, because you never do stop growing. And IPS helps with that.